What's up everyone, my name is Elo Bandit, and today Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have just dropped. This is my day one critical reaction to everything new in the generation. Uh, keep in mind that I have no idea what I'm about to see. I have avoided spoilers and I everything is going to be completely new for me jumping into this generation. So without any further ado, I'm just going to start looking at all of the new Pokemon. Starting with Annihilate. Uh, which is going to be a fighting ghost type, awesome, with vital spirit, vile spirit, <laughs> inner focus, and defiant. Um, so basically, another one of these um, defiant monkey types, kind of Pissimian esque, uh, but with that extra ghost typing. I'm seeing curse, uh, gunk shot, low kick. So it's got sort of the standard like physical attacker, uh, fighting ele elemental punches, U turn, uh, but with some some ghost and um, dark type additions power increases by 50 each time the user is hit nice they took rage the old move rage that increases power uh when you get hit and they turned it into a ghost type attack i love that that's very cool it's got screech shadow punch by all the ghost type stuff yeah fantastic pokemon i got nothing bad to say about annihilate um let's see what else we got let's let's see about arb arboliva Arboliva, Grass Normal Seed Sower. When this Pokemon is hit by an attack, the effects of grassy terrain begins. Okay, not bad. So kind of the Sanaconda version of um, Grassy Surge. I, I can dig that. And then it's got Harvest as a hidden ability. It's pretty cool. Um, Encore, very nice. It's got all the grass type moves, Leech Seed, Memento Substitute. So it's sort of like a support grass in the in the vein of Whimsicott and... Um, uh, those those types of grasses let's see safeguard terrain pulse trailblaze uh raises the user's speed by one i like that so the grass type flame charge um yeah that's that's sort of a cool support pokemon um yeah i got nothing bad to say there either armor rogue fire psychic with flash fire and weak armor that's interesting what's its oh yeah stats um bulky has special attack also has special attack so we got a special attacking fire psychic with armor cannon so we're going to be lowering uh defense and special defense sort of the the close combat version of a special fire move we've got special coverage that i like um flash cannon focus blast heat wave so you can choose between aura sphere and uh focus blast i really like that plus terror blast because everything supposedly gets Terra Blast, I think. So this will probably run Terra Blast which, with whatever Terra type um, it, it chooses. Okay, Armor Rogue, sort of cool. Um, Baxcalibur, Dragon Ice. Thermal exchange. Attack is raised by one stage when hit by fire moves and can't be burned. That's kind of nice. Um, if you can switch this into a fire move in singles, it could probably be pretty good. Um, I don't think it's going to do too much in 1v1 just looking at this move pool, but I could be, I could be wrong about that. Um, it has a nice attack stat for sure, but I don't see a whole lot else going for it. Um, and we will move down the list to Belly Bolt. Look at this thing. What? Electromorphosis becomes charged if it takes direct damage. Oh, that's sick. So what? It run it's slow and it's got um, some sort of electric nukes. Probably just Thunder and T-Bolt. Um, and maybe a, a physical electric move. It just has Spark. But I could see this with like choice specs or something that's that's a pretty cool idea for a pokemon i like belly bolt bombard year um so it looks like offensive stat multiplied by 1.5 when using rock Ooh, interesting so it's got sort of a third stab in the vein of um the anchor dude sorry i forget his name and um it's other it otherwise looks like an offensive mandibuzz so that's kind of neat um has a little bit more of a physical niche it looks like yeah this is 
This is something. It's not the most interesting Pokemon that I've seen here, but it's it's not bad by any stretch. Um, let's see what else we have. Bramblegast. Ooh, I like this. Wind Rider. If hit by a wind move or tailwind, you get plus one attack. So it's a... Um, it's a dust bunny. It's got infiltrator. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, disable, hex. Um, I see hex, but I don't see wisp or toxic, so I don't know how I feel about that. It's it's something. Um, brute bonnet. What? What am I looking at? Protosynthesis. If Sunny Day is active or booster energy is held, the highest stat is 1.5 times. What? That's so cool. Oh my goodness. Uh, the lowest stat is speed, but it looks like if you go maximum speed, minimum attack, 261. If you go minimum... Um, oh, it's actually going to have a problem... Oh, no, because HP probably isn't... Yeah, HP isn't one of those stats. So you can have any stat except for speed, it looks like, boosted with protosynthesis. So it's it's synthesis, but not for speed. That's cool. I like that niche. That's, that's actually pretty interesting. Um, moving on to... Cerulege. Ooh, it's, it's like a mall ninja. That's a funny design. I dig that. Flash fire and weak armor. Um, yep, checks out. Flash fire, we're looking at 125 attack and a decent special defense stat. Um, so it's just going to be kind of like a Marshadow Light, it seems like, with fire coverage. Or fire stabs, I suppose. It's got Wisp. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Sneak. It's a cool Pokemon. That's um, It's got a nice, nice edge to it. Let's see. Sea mm. Titan. Well, this is uh, the thing that I've seen in other people's thumbnails. Um, it has a monster HP stat and good attack. Wow, look at this thing. Thick fat, so it's not horrible as an ice type. Slush Rush for speed, sheer force. Oh my goodness, this thing is going to be a monster. Um, I could see a choice band set on this already. I don't even know what the moves are. Avalanche, Body Press, Earthquake, Heavy Slam, Ice... Oh my goodness, it gets every single ice move ever to exist, including Ice Spinner, which removes terrain effects. That's cool. Chilling Water lowers uh, lowers opponent's attack by one. That's very cool. I like Chilling Water. Um, Snowscape gives ice some defense that it probably desperately needs yeah that's a cool pokemon i i really like that guy da, 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 da. and next up is chain pow with sword of ruin the defense stat of every other active pokemon is reduced okay so it's got some attack and a whole bunch of speed and well, here, let me just look at all of the moves first. Um, it's got physical coverage, ice-type attacks, dark-type attacks. It's looking a lot like a Weavile, but... Um, yeah, it's it's pretty much Weavile too, isn't it? I got nothing else to say there. chi Yu, Dark Fire. The special attack stat of all active Pokemon is reduced. So this is like the special defense guy. I kind of like that. You don't see a whole lot of defensive fire types. And it's got the flame charge, will-o'-wisp, taunt. Ooh, I, this is, for some reason, this is giving me Jellicent vibes, even though it's a different type entirely. It just reminds me of like a bulky off type Jellicent. Um, yeah, especially tanky. I dig it. It's a cool Pokemon. What else we got? Claude Sire. Poison Ground. Poison Point. Water Absorb. Unaware. That's kind of cool. Um, unaware Pokemon are always lovely to have. Poison Ground is pretty interesting typing. 
Um, it's going to have physical coverage, but no real physical stats. It looks like it's just going to be specially defensive. I would expect most sets to look like this. Um, with like Haze, Toxic, Yawn, Amnesia, Rest. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty standard um, defensive, bulky poison type kind of kind of gives me swallow vibes if anything and after claude sire we have uh cyclozar ground normal or sorry dragon normal with shed skin and regen so this is really going to be more of a single pokemon but that's that's fine 121 speed is really nice sort of middling offenses but it can look looks like it can do some of the stuff that we saw in the other Pokemon with Ice Spinner. Um, oh, it's got Shift Gear. That's going to be really good. Um, Growl Thief. Trailblaze again. Uh, I do like that move, Trailblaze, with the 100% with the speed boost. So does this guy get... Um... Okay, yeah, that's cool. Cyclozar is neat. I don't think it's going to be the most relevant Pokemon of all time, but um, it's got a cool design. Dash Spun. Well baked body. Defense is raised two stages if hit by a fire move, fire immunity. So there's like a lot of things that want to switch into fire attacks this gen for whatever reason. It's got baton pass for singles, it's got physical coverage, um, sub yawn. This is giving me like herdier vibes. Um Lick, Scary Face, Snarl, Thunderfang, Trailblaze again. They're really going wild with Trailblaze, huh? Yeah, this wants like Strong Jaw as a hidden ability or something, but. Yeah, Dash Spun. It's a thing. Don Dozo. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> hey man, look at dude. Dude be like, wah. Okay, what does Don Dozo do? He's unaware, oblivious, water veil. So he's looking a lot like Quagsire right off the bat. Um, his stats are going to be full defense, but hey, he actually has an attack stat. What are his physical moves? He's got liquidation, order up, plus one to stat depending on Tatsugiri color. I'm guessing that's going to be um, an, an item, maybe? I don't know how that works. Um... Wave Crash. Ooh, I like Wave Crash. It's Flare Blitz, but Water type. Oh, that's so neat. Yes, that's a move that we need. Um, it's got Noble Roar, Water Attacks. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Don Dozo. Dudun Sparse? Dudun Sparse? <laughs> what? <laughs> Serene Grace and Rattle. So it's, it's Dun Sparse. Um but more so. Yeah, that's that's all it is. It's done sparse, but more so. Was there another one that was dead on sparse three segment? What is this? Same stuff. I'm going to reserve judgment on dead on sparse because I really just don't quite understand it yet. We're going to move on to Espathra which is certainly something. A psychic type opportunist. When an opposing Pokemon receives stat boost, this Pokemon gets the same stat boosts. So it's like Dancer, but better. And it's got Frisk and Spewy. Ooh, speed boost. That's crazy good. How fast is it? 105? Nice. Usable special attack. Foul play. got regular psychic type coverage skill swap yeah that's um it's a neat idea it's basically just like the best dancer but an unofficial dancer because it's an opportunist for Ridgiraffe, is this uh the second evolution wait does it say I, I'm, I'm just gonna assume that this is um giraffe rig 2 like, it's either the evolved form or it's the uh, regional variant, but we'll see here. Kudchu, if it eats a berry, it will consume the berry again at the end of the turn. That's very nice. Um, it's going to go crazy with Pattaya, I'm sure. 
Armor tail protected from priority. Okay. Sap sipper. Yeah, it's a it's a giraffe rig, but kind of backwards. I don't know. <laughs> um, not the most overwhelming Pokemon, but it's it's kind of neat. Flamingo. It's it's just a flamingo. That's the whole thing. Co-star, so it, it it jumps in with the with the previous thing, and um, it takes the same the same stat changes. That's kind of neat. If for if you play doubles, um, once again we're just gonna be looking at like basic bird halucha esque fighting flying coverage. Yeah, it's fine. I I get it. I get what they're going for. Flutter main. What? Okay, so it's very mischievous. What the heck are these stats? What am I looking at? Why does it have so much special defense and so much speed and so much special attack? This is crazy. This is just gonna, like, call mine once and then blow through an entire team with 135 speed and special... This is crazy. This is actually a ridiculous looking Pokemon. It gets Mystical Fire, Power, Gem Size, Shock Shadow. Oh my. So it gets all the special coverage in the world. It's super fast. And it gets Charm. So you don't even have to worry about physical attackers so much. Oh man, that's... This Pokemon kind of goes crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. This 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 is kind of crazy. Gar Gargansel. Gargankle. Purifying salt cannot be statused and doesn't really take damage from ghosts. Uh, also sturdy and clear body. So I'm getting sort of Regirock energy from this thing, but it's like salt instead of rock, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it sort of gets like a regirock -y move pool. Salt Cure deals 1 8th max HP every turn, a quarter of steel or water. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, not bad for like a new pure rock type, I suppose. Golden Go. What? It's it's a it's a it's a floppy man. Good as gold? That's not an ability. Just you're just immune to status. That's the whole that's the whole gimmick. Are you kidding me? This is like the laziest Pokemon I've ever seen. This is and it gets 133 special attack? No! Okay, this is my least favorite Pokemon so far. I cannot lie to you. It has such an uncomfortable speed tier. And such a... It's got just got such weird stats. Make it rain. Lowers user special attack by one. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I just don't like it. I get it. I just don't like it. After Golden Glow, we have... Or Golden Go. <laughs> we have Glimora. Rock Poison. Hey, that's an interesting typing. Toxic Debris. When you're hit by an attack, toxic spikes are set around the attacker. Oh, that's so cool. And you've got Corrosion. So this is actually really cool. I like something that sets up uh, Spike or T-Spike, rather, sort of automatically. Um, while you do whatever else, like Acid Armor or just attacking... Or setting up spikes. Oh, that's so funny. You can set spikes and then also set T-spikes when your opponent attacks you. Yeah, this is a strong lead for sure in singles. Um, I have no idea if it's going to do anything at all in uh, in like 1v1. Maybe it can with Corrosion Toxic. You know, it's uh, it's got some bulk, kind of, sort of, maybe. It's got huge special attack for whatever reason. Um, sludge Wave, I guess. Yeah, it's something. Uh, this is probably, like, gonna make use of Terra Blast in singles, I would assume. Um, but, I don't know. Glamora, kinda cool. Grafifi. Or, Grafii. 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 <laughs> what a silly Pokemon. It's got Unburdened, Poison Touch, and Prankster. Um, it's got really high speed and basically nothing else except kind of attack. Uh, it's got normal 
poison, dark, fighting. Yeah, it's it's another, like, monkey. It's like if uh, Passimian was mixed with, like, a gunk shot Meowth. That makes no sense, I know, but, like, that's, that's just what I'm getting. Uh, Encore is kind of cool. So it has some utility options. Taunt, taunt. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a cool Pokemon. Um, the design is a little bit in your face, maybe a little bit garish, but like, it's, it's trying. It's trying really hard to do something. It's just not maybe instantly clear what that something is. Graphii. Great Tusk. Oh, it's, oh, I see what this is. So it's, it's literally just Dawnfan Great Tusk, I assume. Once again, with Protosynthesis, so it's all about that sunny day, um, and Booster Energy, which is a new item. Okay, so it's a single-use ability activator. That's kind of cool. You don't see a whole lot of, like, items that activate, or that synergize with abilities. That's, that's neat. Um... It's got regular, like, Dawn Fan moves, plus Ice Spinner, and Fighting Stabs. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I'm not totally blown away by this. It is pretty fast for a Dawn Fan. Um, and it's got good attack and defense. Honestly, I think the most notable thing about this Pokemon is the typing ground fighting is really really good typing there's a reason that there there has not been a ground fighting type before in pokemon because it covers um a ridiculous amount of threats very very effectively um basically the only the only issue is flying and um it looks like you have plenty of coverage to deal with flying types as well so yeah this is going to be a very powerful pokemon i'm sure uh dawn fan great tusk i gotta say i'm a fan um that, that's a cool new Pokemon, for sure. Houndstone. The ghost type. So it's like a tombstone, but a dog. Hilarious. Sand Rush. Fluffy. Yo! Fluffy's kind of OP. With 100 defense stat. That's not bad at all. And, and it's got body press. Look at that. So it's going to be... Um, just a ghost type body press spammer, it looks like. Uh, does it have any way to naturally boost defense? Last respects. Power increases by 50 with each fainted party member. That's so crazy. Holy. Have a team full of explosions and then a last respects houndstone. That's nuts. Alright, what's next? Ooh, a whole bunch of iron things. Um, iron bundle. So this is going to be our Delibird variant, I guess. And it's going to also take the, the booster energy to boost an attack stat. Okay. Um, it's basically just Delibird, it looks like, plus Chilling Water, which is a cool new move. I like lowering... A target speed, a hundred, or lowering target attack 100% of the time. That's pretty neat. Back down to the irons. We also have iron hands. The Hariyama. Okay. Fighting electric. That's pretty interesting. Um, so are we going to see stab thunder punch? Yes. Plus wild charge. Interesting. Force palm. All the, all the Hariyama stuff. Yeah. Okay. So electric Hariyama. That's fine. <laughs> iron... Juglus, which is going to be Hydreigon. Uh, once again, just with Hydreigon pool. That's fine. Moth, which is going to be... Oh, that's so cool! Look at that Volcarona! Oh, that's sick! And it gets poison typing for... What poison move? Sludge Wave? I like that. I like that. And, oh, look at this! Pounce. Bug. 50. Lowering target speed by one. That's very cool. I like that. Iron Moth, Iron Thorns, which is Tyronitar with electric typing. Ooh, it's going to have Thunder Punch, Wild Charge again, plus all of the, the rock moves. So yeah, 
that that makes sense to me based on everything else that I've seen so far. And then there's going to be how close are we on the irons? Iron Treads and Iron Valiant. So Treads is going to be Donphan again, I guess. But as a ground steel. Okay, sure. And Iron Valiant, which is, um, of course, Gallade, but as a fairy fighting. Gonna have Dazzling Gleam... Moonblast. Oh, is it actually like a special attacker? Cool, cool. But it has 130 physical attack for low kick and drain punch and close combat and whatnot. Sure. Yeah, Iron Valiant, Gallade, pretty neat. Kilowattril. Uh, electric flying with wind power for the, the Tailwind Charge thing. So this is going to be the fast version um, of, of the Charge-based Pokemon with Discharge, Thunder, Wild Charge. Yeah, makes sense. It's a, it's a fast, frail electric attacker. Kilowattel. And then we got King Gambit. Ooh! Look at this! It's Bisharp 3! Oh, that's so sick! You've got Defiant or Supreme Overlord. Attack and special attack raise 10% per fainted teammate. Game Freak really going in on this kill your own team, boost up your last guy mechanic. That's pretty interesting. Uh, we're going to see a huge attack and defense stat, low speed, um, and Bisharp-esque moves, including Kowtow, Cleave, which always hits... Um, Sucker Punch, Taunt, Low Sweep, all of all of the Bisharp move pool. That's pretty cool. I gotta say I'm a big fan of King Gambit. Cloth. Cloth! He's a crabby boy. Anger Shell. Reaches half or less, you get attack, special attack, and speed. That's kinda crazy, even though you're dropping your defenses. Um, or you've got Shell Armor or Regenerator. This seems like it's going to be a... Oh, wait. I don't know what to think of this. It's like a Pokemon that's pissed off about its low stats and just does everything that it can to, to boost them up. That's really funny to me for some reason. It's like Crustle, but maybe kind of worse. Yeah, that's... It's something. It's something. Cloth. Cloth. Uh, low kicks, law kicks, low kicks, something like that. Uh, bug dark with swarm, 92 speed. This is, ooh, axe kick. 30% confuse? I like it. It's an interesting spin on sort of the mid-speed tier, physical attacker, fighting, bug, dark... Um, yeah, and it's, and it's Rock and Pounce. Screech, Skitter, Str Skitter Smack, Struggle Bug. This is a cool Pokemon. This feels like it's going to be a unique support um, that isn't, like, weak to taunt. And it has taunt itself. Yeah. This is, this is a cool Pokemon, for real. Mabostiff. I am intimidated. Guard dog, immune to intimidate. Intimidated plus one attack, so you either intimidate or you counter intimidate. Or you've got stakeout, that's kind of cool. Um, it's got crunch, normal attacks, some interesting coverage. I like it as a physical mon. Comeuppance, if hit by an attack, returns 1.5 damage. So it's dark type metal burst, it's pretty sweet. Jaw lock prevents both user and target from switching out. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it fits with everything else I've seen so far. Um, sort of using the new the new moves and the mechanics of the gen. I feel like Terra Blast Mabostiff might be might be pretty interesting. 
Mouse hold. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so cute. Friend guard, cheek pouch, and technician. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're so sweet. Oh, this is a great Pokemon. I'm such a huge fan. 111 speed. Oh, very nice. Very nice. It's got Encore, Hyper Voice. Yeah, so this is like just a nice sort of Centret for it style support Pokemon. Thunder Wave, U-Turn, Bullet Seed. It's got some Cinchino vibes. This is a really cool Pokemon. I, I really enjoy this. User plus one attack, plus one speed. Speed clears any substitute and hate. What? That's so cool. Mousehold is is currently my my favorite of the gen. What a what a neat Pokemon. Mousehold four. There's another version of it with just a family of four, but it looks like it's otherwise the same. Chilling water is cool. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Meowscarada. Grass Dark with Overgrow and Protean. Whoa! 123 speed Protean? Sign me up! What kind of moves does this have? Fighting, Fairy, Rock, Ghost, Dark, Electric, Bug, Flying, Ice. Yeah, this is this is a really cool Pokemon. It's like um, maybe a, a physical Greninja or like a, a faster um, Kecleon with with grass dark typing initially. This is such a cool Pokemon. Meowscarada is, is so far in, in like my top five, just based on like mechanics and um, Protean with this move pool. Um, up next we have Oinkoglin, Oink Oinkalone, Oinkalone with Lingering Aroma. They have their ability changed to Lingering Aroma, so it's Mummy, but with smells, plus gluttony and thick fat. It's gonna be a pure normal type with body slam, double edge, body press. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's um, it's pretty one dimensional, but the dimension it exists on is just fine. Um, it's Cofagrigus, but a normal type. We also have the female version, which has Aroma Veil instead, probably useful in, in its own way there, if it has some sort of setup. Um, stockpile. Stuff cheeks. Yeah, stuff cheeks plus body press is a thing. So yeah, that's that's got some potential there. Orthworm. Orthworm! The steel type Earth Eater. Heals a third of its HP when hit by ground moves as a steel type? What? That is so powerful. Okay, so I just figured out how to lure fire moves and switch in your, your guys that benefit from like getting hit by fire attacks. It's just to have an Orthworm. That's that's really funny. Um, it's got huge defense, plus coil, plus body press, plus heavy slam, iron head. Oh my goodness, stealth rock. This is going to be such a good Pokemon in singles. I can already tell. It can probably do stuff in 1v1 as well. I like Orthworm. Orthworm is going to be another top 5 or 7. That's a, that's, that's a neat Pokemon. Palafin. Hey, it's your buddy, Palafin. Ability, zero to hero. If this Pokemon is Palafin, it changes to hero mode when it switches out. So what does Palafin hero mode look like in comparison? It gets a whole bunch of attack, a whole bunch of special attack, and it keeps the same speed. Oh, it gets bonus defenses as well. So Palafin is basically just bad. And then it switches out and it becomes good. And that's that's the whole deal. Jet Punch is just better Aqua Jet. Sure, why not? Palafin Hero. Um, probably just sort of the same move pool. It's got Taunt and some decent utility. Tickle, that's not bad. And 160 attack. Oh my lord. That is that is simply oppressive. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. 160 attack! Does it still get jet punch? Yes, yes it does. Of course it does. This is actually kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually kind of crazy.
Palafin hero. My goodness. Palmot. Ah, oh, that's cute. It's got Volt Absorb, Natural Cure, and Iron Fist. Ooh, maybe a decent Iron Fist user with good attack and speed. And I'm assuming it's got the Elemental Punches. Yes, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch. I don't see Ice Punch, but that's... Oh, there's Ice Punch. Yeah. Um, cool new punching Pokemon that also has Volt Absorb. And Natural Cure. It's... It's something! Quackwavel. <laughs> Quackwavel. Um, Torrent and Moxie. So, like, fighting Gyarados. But... Encore... Low Kick... U-Turn, Wave Crash... Chilling Water... Feather Dance... Low Sweep... Yeah, I wish I had uh, Recovery, but otherwise very solid Pokemon. Quackwavel. I like that it has um, Brave Bird. Rabska. Synchronize and Telepathy. Bug and Psychic. So this is looking like a really standard Psychic type that's kind of just also a bug. This is like the most underwhelming Pokemon I've seen so far, but maybe it does something. 115 special? Yeah, it's it's fine. It's okay. Revavroom! Revavroom! Overcoat and filter as a steel poison type. Maybe it can tank a ground move, perhaps. Maybe not. It's got gunk shot, iron head, spin out, lowering the user's speed by two. That's pretty cool. That's thematic and appropriate. Um... Yeah, it's it's a car Pokemon. <laughs> the end. Rev of Room. Roaring Moon. Whoa! That's elements. That's so sick. Um, so this is gonna be one of the other uh, protosynthesis dudes. Um, it's elements move pool. And dark type attack high crunch. He crunch. Yeah, it's it's a cool badass dark type uh, Salamence. I don't have anything else to say about it. Sandy shocks, the Magneton. Now that is interesting. Is that like Pharaoh? Whatever. That's super cool, and it gets like what rock attack. It's basically just Magneton, but like, I don't know. It's it's something cool to do with Magneton, I suppose. I don't I don't hate it. It's got it's got some flavor. <laughs> Sco villain. So it's ooh the first grass fire type, nice. Chlorophyll, insomnia, and moody bananas. We've got workable attack and special attack. Um, all kinds of fire and grass coverage. Wisp, very nice. Um, spicy extract. Target, plus two attack, minus two defense. What? Okay. 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 Okay, sure. Why not? That's potentially terrifying, but very, very cool. I gotta say I like Scovillain. Um... Also, great wordplay. Scoville, like, heat rating, plus villain. That's that's not bad. As far as Pokemon names go, I've seen a lot worse. Where are we? Scovillain. Scream tail. Oh my god! What am I looking at? Why, why is Jigglypuff a cat girl? What is happening? So Jigglypuff is now got some fairy nonsense going on it's gonna have fairy stabs i guess <laughs> it's play rough is gonna hit a little bit harder with 65 yeah i don't i don't even know what to think i do not know what to think about jigglypuff screen tail that is throwing me for a loop right now 
Skeledurge, that's a pretty sick looking Pokemon. It's got Unaware, plus Blaze, Encore, the fire moves. It's got um, some, some regular attacks and Torch Song. Hey, that's cool. That reminds me of uh, Volcarona's um, Fiery Dance, but it's 100%. So, neat. Does it get Shadow Ball? Yes, it does. It's a cool Pokemon. I like Skeledurge. That's a good use of the Fire Ghost typing. I think, um, other than Marowak A, that, that dual typing has been pretty underutilized in, in the competitive scene. So this might be this might be the change that, that we've been waiting for. Skeledurge. And then we've got Slitherwing Volcarona. Another Volcarona. Okay. Or is that, um... The, the pre-evo is that a uh, larvesta it's hard to tell um earthquake first impression morning sun it's pretty cool it's pretty cool uh spite ops <laughs> it's just a, it, it, it's this Pokemon that stakes out a, an operation and it and it oh my oh my goodness this is this is comedy this is comedy in Pokemon form right here I can't even explain what's so good about this it's it's perfectly capturing like such a specific archetype of dude like there's there's just this guy that like kind of shows up in movies and shows is like hey I'm gonna I'm gonna scope out this area you know like I'm gonna I'm gonna guard the perimeter. I'm gonna secure the perimeter, and this is what this guy is. He's like he's the special ops. He's the he's the spy ops. That's excellent. Ten out of ten on theme for this guy. Um, throat. <laughs> Stay silent. <laughs> it's probably not as funny as I think it is, but I am I am very much amused by this Pokemon. Squawkabilly, really? So it's rockabilly, but it's it's a bird. Does he get um like chatop moves? Kind of. This is like just a really generic like mirror moving like pharaoh clone, but that's fine. Mm, it comes in blue, white, and yellow. I assume they're all exactly the same. Um, in fact, I don't really care enough to check. <laughs> I'm just gonna say they're the same and move on. Um, Tatsugiri. Oh, look, it comes in two variants. And it has Commander. If ally is Dondozo, this Pokemon cannot act or be hit. Ooh, but it gives Dondozo plus two to all stats. That is weird. So this thing is gonna be super relevant in doubles, I'm sure. Um, counter's kind of nice. Taunt is good for a support. Icy Wind once again. So yeah, it's a support doubles Pokemon that kind of doesn't do anything else. Kind of shallow move pool. Um, Tauros got two new options with Paldia and Paldia Fire. Ooh, that is neat. It gets Kudchu. It's a fighting type. It's got close combat stab and probably like Leechy Berry with substitute. Get Raging Bull, destroys screens. Type depends on user's form, so that changes when you go into the fire type, I assume, which is just going to add the fire typing, so you get that as a stab. Oh, that's super neat. I gotta say, I like what they did with this this uh, regional variant of Tauros. That's pretty cool. And, oh, look, there's also a water version. Neat. Like the water buffalo, and it gets aqua jet, liquidation, wave crash. Wave crash is going to be big this gen, I can already tell. Ting Lu. The special attack stat is going to be reduced. Um, probably good, because that's going to be sort of its lowest defense, but this is going to be a very bulky Pokemon. Rocking body press, and spikes, stealth rock. Um, for some reason, this is reminding me of clay doll even though it does kind of like the opposite thing um like it's a dark type and it sets up spikes and rocks instead of removing them but i don't know it just gives me that same kind of um aztec old clay pot sort of 
Zen head buddy. I yeah, I can't explain it any better than that. But it's kind of cool. It's got it's got some potential. Tinkerton. Oh, it's <laughs> it's um the the mini. Not not the the um the Toxapex Prevo. Fairy Steel Encore Fake Out Gigaton Hammer. This is interesting. It's like okay, so first I love fairy steel types. I'm a big Mawa Klefki fan. And this is looking like it's gonna fall into a similar niche. Um I wish it had a little bit more attack, but it's it's okay. It's got Mold Breaker and Pickpocket. So this is kind of a cool Pokemon. I like Gigaton Hammer. I really do enjoy this move. Huge base power, but you just can't click it twice. That's so cool. So it's like, don't use Choice Band unless you're really sure this is going to KO. Um, I like this a lot. This is this is my new favorite. This, this is probably going to have to push... Um, the the silly family pokemon out of the top spot tinkaton it reminds me so much of mawile and i love mawile so much this is this is probably just got to be my number one toad scroll oh my goodness they made tentacruel into a mushroom status moves have lowered priority and ignore their targets abilities i love it i love it it's Mold Breaker, but thematic and worse. Oh, it's so good. He's still gonna rock knockoff, but he gets like all kinds of ground and grass stabs. Spikes, Sludge Bomb, Taunt. Yes, yes, yes to all of this. I love Toad Scroll. Also, great name. Sounds like Toad's Duel, but it's cruel. That's excellent. 10 out of 10 for Toad Scroll. Veluza. Barrascuda, but psychic. Because. <laughs> because that gen didn't have a water psychic. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It did. Psychic fangs and headbutt. Um, fillet away. Loses half of its HP, plus two to attack, special attack, and speed. What? That's so nonsense. It literally just is like, yeah, I'm gonna fish, but I'm gonna um, fillet myself. <laughs> and get preposterous stats. You know what? Fine. I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad. Um, Looks like the last couple of Pokemon in OU are gonna be Wochin and Wugtrio. Oh my god. So Wochin is gonna be this sick grass snail boy. Oh, I love him. Um, he's gonna have huge special defense, and I think this is the one that lowers opponent's uh, special attack. So he's never gonna die to any special moves. Um, he gets body pressed. Does he have a way to boost physical defense? Um, I'm not seeing one. Ruination is kind of neat. Um, a dark type nature's madness clone. Um, I don't see plus defense, but I think it's going to be a very strong Pokemon even without it. Wochian is, is another one of those top Pokemon for me. It's quiet in its design, but it's distinguished. It, it knows what it's doing. I feel like there's there's a lot of cool things that people are going to do with Wochian. That's, that's my thought. And, um, Wugtrio. Oh, this, this thing, this, this stupid thing that, I know some people like it, but I cannot bring myself to look past the the wiggly hot dogness of it all. It's gooey. It doesn't need gooey. It's so fast. It has. It raises its speed. It doesn't need it. It's it's very silly. It's a very silly Pokemon. What the heck is this Pokemon doing? Why doesn't it get Arena Trap at least? That would at least make it like something. But oh, it's just so weird. It's just so weird. And it gets rap. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, I'm going to cover the uh, the box legends real quick, and then I'm probably going to skip past the, um, the not fully evolves because, well, they're not going to be that relevant. 
Um, on switch in sunny, summon sunny day. Attack is boosted 30% in sunny day. So it's it's got the Groudon thing going on. Collision course. Oh my god, even more damage if it's a super effective move already. Oh man. Oh man. So this is really like a fighting dragon fire triple stab threat almost. That's actually not bad for a box legend. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be playing Ubers or whatever, but if I do, I might give it a shot. I might give Karadin, um some time in, in Builder or in Battler. And Maraden, um, I do not like this design. This is a very ugly and bad design. Hadron Engine summons Electric Terrain and boosts Special Attack. So this is going to be just focused on the two types, it looks like, compared to the other Box Legends 3. I don't see like that, that third stab coming into effect. It's just going to be doubling down on Electric, which is fine. Um, it gets Electro Drift, and once again, we're going to see that 1.3 times multiplier on top of the super effective multiplier. Um, other than that, it's a it's a legendary dragon with an electric typing. Yeah, I I think that's pretty much going to cover it. Um, if I missed something, just let me know in the comments, and I'll I'll respond to that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this this first look and this critical reaction into the generation. Um, oh, it's cute. Um, and yeah, I hope I hope you learned something. I hope you got something out of this. This for me was was a very interesting learning experience to see sort of a preview into what this generation is going to look like. I cannot wait to do some building and laddering for one v one with this. And um, I think I better cut it off there. It's been it's been fun. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.